Sound the alert, sound the bell. There's a huge change happening right now in the e-commerce industry. YouTube has now announced that they've partnered with Shopify to allow creators to sell on YouTube directly, link their channel with their Shopify account and actually sell their products directly on YouTube with the viewers not having to leave the platform to complete their purchase. So all of it can happen natively on YouTube with the backend link with Shopify. So in today's video, I wanna share with you exactly how that's gonna work, how that's gonna be rolling out, what type of videos is that gonna be available on, and how can you benefit from this new feature as an e-commerce brand owner. So let's take a look at what that new feature is. How is it gonna be looking like and what you can do from there? So if you're already a YouTuber, you are going to know that if you go through your YouTube studio, you can actually monetize your videos by either having subscribers, so basically having people subscribe on a monthly basis to your content or by having essentially your AdSense revenue. So now you can actually use the monetization tab to link your Shopify account to your YouTube account. So. The way it kind of displayed right here, uh, they, they, they talk about it the first way is about live shopping, which I'm gonna to get to in a second. But basically that you're going to be able, as an example, to have some of your products displayed on the website right here while you watch a video. So basically they also show you how it's going to be looking like. So they basically say go to Shopify, add the Google channel, which by the way, if you're already advertising in Google Ads as an example, you already have that channel installed. They show you that you have to have the Google Merchant Center installed, which again, disclaimer, it's also needed when you are advertising live on Google. And at the bottom, there's gonna be a new tab for a YouTube connection. And it also showed right here that you needed to be available for monetization on YouTube, which it actually said right here that you needed to have at least a thousand subscribers. So it seems like the criteria to actually be available to add that up on your YouTube channel, it's gonna be similar to the regular monetization criteria that are live on YouTube at the moment. So again, not sure how that's gonna affect the eligibility for brands, but if it is the same current criteria that you have to be eligible for monetization, it would mean that you need to have at least 1,000 subscribers and at least 4,000 public watch hours on YouTube. So again, not sure if those are gonna be the exact criteria, but it actually says right here that if you just saw it a second ago, so. Basically, it said that you needed to have at least a thousand subscribers to be able to apply to the monetization to basically link your Shopify store with your YouTube channel. Now, Shopify has a new tab on their website to talk about this. So if you go to shopify.ca forward slash YouTube, you're actually gonna be able to find this news also on their website. So they tell you that you need to install the Google app on Shopify to make sure that you benefit from that right here. And then basically they tell you how to actually set it up right there. And then they tell you that it's gonna be syncing all of your products to YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Now this is where it gets interesting. So this kind of shows you right here how you'd be able to use a product by, as an example, a live video. So if you're doing like a product launch, right? You're launching a new product. You could be live on YouTube launching this new product and then people could actually buy it straight from the description of the video. And the beauty again is that people won't have to leave the platform. They won't have to leave YouTube because it would have been counterintuitive for YouTube, right? Which YouTube's model is to retain watch time. The more you stay on YouTube, the more revenue they make because the more basically you stay on YouTube, the more ads you're gonna see. And that's how the brand, that's how the company makes its revenue. So by allowing checkout to happen directly on their platform and have all the checkout process hosted on the back end on Shopify, it allows the users to have a seamless checkout experience so they don't have to leave their content, they don't have to leave their video as you see here at the bottom. So from the looks of things, you're gonna have the video in you know picture in picture mode at the bottom once you start your checkout. And then once you're done, it basically opens back up the full view of the video. So very good from a brand's perspective, also very good from a consumer perspective. And finally, looking at the TechCrunch article, this is gonna be available for basically all formats of videos on YouTube. So it seems like it's gonna start with live videos first, and then they want to have that available for short videos, which again, this is huge. So. It's not even live yet on TikTok, and it's rumored that TikTok is going to come with similar features because on their Chinese version of the platform, Douyin, they already have the ability to shop directly from their platform. So now YouTube is going to give their viewers the ability to actually go on a short and shop a product directly from there. So can you imagine the possibilities for not even on the advertising side of things, but also just on the organic side of things now, which brands can use shorts. So 
I've been screaming in all of my past videos to use UGC and repurpose it across TikTok and Instagram reels. So imagine this, you have a high performing video that does amazing on TikTok. So you think that it would probably do as well on YouTube. So you upload that to YouTube Shorts, but now you can actually add your product tag to your short video and people can actually buy your product without even going to your website. They would actually just click on your video and buy it right there. So you benefit from the engagement of more than one platform and now can people actually buy your products straight from your video. So it's coming up to these videos. So live videos, actually shorts and your long form regular videos also should be rolling out in the upcoming weeks. Now, if you're an e-commerce brand or store owner and you want to capitalize on that opportunity, so you want to make more UGC, be able to extend all of that to YouTube and benefit from the organic reach that YouTube is now giving e-commerce brand owners like you, the ability to have your customers shop directly from your YouTube channel, pencil on a quick 30 minute call in the video description. And on that call, we'll take a look at your brand and see if you're a good fit for whatever e-commerce marketing programs. If that's the case, we'll help you scale. If not, worst comes to worst, we'll just leave you with a free action plan to implement on your own. On that note, make sure you check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.